Okay, good morning, Dr. Faizan. So uh, today in this uh, clinical snippet session, we will be going to another mini clinical examination, an important palpation test in respiratory system examination. I want you to demonstrate it. Then we will have a discussion on it. So demonstrate how to elicit tactile vocal fremitus in respiratory system examination. Go ahead. दादा नमस्ते नमस्ते मैं आपकी छाती की तपासनी करना चाहता हूँ okay. मैं कुछ आपको वर्ड्स बोलूंगा हाँ. वो आपको साफ स्पष्ट तरीके से रिपीट करने हैं okay. बोलिए एक दो तीन एक दो तीन अब मैं अपना हाथ आपकी छाती में रखूंगा और आपकी तपासनी करूंगा okay. आप वो वर्ड्स रिपीट करिएगा मैं ओके okay. बोलिए एक, एक दो तीन 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 अभी अपने हाथों को ऊपर रखिए फिर एक दो तीन बोलिए एक दो तीन एक दो तीन एक दो तीन एक दो तीन अब अपने हाथों को ऐसे करिए बोलिए एक दो तीन 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 ठीक है सो योर एग्जामिनेशन इज कम्प्लीट यस सर सो वट आर योर फाइंडिंग्स सर एग्जामिन द पेशेंट एंटीरियरली लैटरली एंड पोस्टेरियरली बाई लैटरली एंड आई केम टू द इन्फ्लुएंस दैट द टैक्टाइल वोकल फेमिटस इज इक्वल ऑन बोथ साइड्स Yes, very good. So, in this subject, you want to say that your finding is tactile vocal fremitus is equal on both sides. Yes. Uh, you have uh, in your examination, you have uh, examined each area anteriorly, supraclavicular, infraclavicular, mammary, inframammary, bilaterally you compared, and in the axillary, infraxillary area you compared bilaterally, and posteriorly the suprascapular, interscapular, and interscapular area, infrascapular area you come uh, examined bilaterally and. Uh, Can now do it finally. So, can you tell me, Dr. Faizan, what is the principle of this test? Sir, uh, the tactile vocal fremitus is produced by the vocal cords. The sound waves that are created by the vocal cords are transmitted through the tracheobronchial tree, through the chest, uh, through the lung parenchyma towards the chest wall, and these sound vibrations are perceived by the soft alveolar border of the examiner. and the, these vibrations if there is an abnormality then we can be detected Good. by examining bilaterally any abnormality you can detect these perceived vibration to be something uh, more which is not the case in certain pathologies in the lungs okay so uh, can you tell me one situation if can it be compared in one side only and uh, it is to be inferred or it should be always compared Opposite diametrically. So it should be uh, compared bilaterally on both sides. Both sides. Inference. Okay. When you are examining the mammary area, I noticed that uh, on the right side you uh, placed your hand in one part, but on the left side you made the patient to abduct his arm little bit and you went laterally. Why was that? Yes, If you sir. say that it is exactly diametrically opposite, it should be done. Uh, sir, towards the left side there is superficial cardiac dullness and. When we uh, palpate the left side for tactile local fremitus, there will be a decreased physiological uh, tactile local fremitus very because there is lung shadow. Uh, because there is a heart, heart underlying. Okay, very good. We got it. We are coming up right. Yes, because of fluid that is the precordia, it can be dampened. Another interesting thing, you ask the patient to say one, two, three. Why not any word? Why this specifically one, two, three? The patient can be asked to repeat one, two, three, ninety-nine to both because these are low-frequency sounds that are easily communicated through the lung parenchyma and easily perceived by the ulnar border of the hand. That's why we use. This is words. one of the very important clinical examination uh, that we should do when we ask the patient to utter a word. That word should be carrying low frequency sound because that low frequency sounds are better conducted through the tracheobronchial tree and the lung parenchyma 
to be perceived in the ulnar border so that if there is any pathology like solidification of the lungs like in consolidation i will ask you other causes when the air is replaced by a solidification of the tissue or mass or something those low frequency sound will be all the more better transmitted to be perceived as a pathologically increased tactile vocal filters saying that that is the importance of uttering low frequency sounds you cannot ask the patient to utter any sound to, which can be high frequency so our purpose is lost so can you tell me what are the causes of unilateral increase in tactile vocal filters in so the causes of unilateral increase in tactile vocal filters are consolidation cavity partial collapse of the lung or a mass very good consolidation cavity partial collapse of the lungs and mass very good can you tell me conditions where tactile vocal filters is dampened or decreased unilaterally so the causes of unilateral decrease in tactile vocal filters are hydrothorax pneumothorax pleural effusion or empyema in these conditions the tactile vocal filters is decreased to that side or there is a, part, a complete collapse of the lung complete collapse of, for that matter fibrosis also fibrosis. massive pleuroparenchymal fibrosis can also cause dampening of the tactile vocal filters a decreased tactile vocal filters as compared to one side can you tell me where the tactile vocal filters is decreased both sides of the lung so both sides on chest on both sides uh, it can be decreased in conditions like uh, emphysema where there is hyperinflation uh, co uh, emphysema bronchial asthma in these conditions the tactile vocal filters is bilaterally decreased yes for that matter physiologically speaking if the chest wall is also thick in obesity thick chest wall also it can be dampened by bilaterally or decreased bilaterally but you have to remember you have to comment that tactile vocal filters is decreased bilaterally but they will they will be equal but you will comment that it is i am perceiving less but it is equal on both sides that is one thing so fantastic uh, but there is a little hitch we will talk about that hitch later on why why you said uh, that 99 is a word used lot of times when we examine to ask the patient to say 99 we will talk about it and uh, yes correctly you have demonstrated everything to summarize you correctly explained the principle of tactile vocal filters as the patient to utter low frequency words it will be conducted through the tachycardia L3 through the lung parenchyma to the chest wall to be perceived here in the ulnar border of the uh, uh, hand always comment symmetrically equal on both sides like you examined thirdly as the principle we say that whenever air is replaced by solidification of the alveoli like in pus blood or uh, whatever that is area of solidification then tactile vocal filters the low frequency will be conducted more so it will be perceived unequally more as compared to one side that is the cause of increased tactile vocal um, increased tactile vocal filters bilaterally uh, unilaterally you told uh, unilateral decrease in tactile vocal filters if we go from chest wall underneath thick chest wall obesity bilateral hyperinflated chest it will be dampened unilaterally speaking after chest wall we enter the pleura so pleural effusion pneumothorax hydropneumothorax after pleura we enter the lung parenchyma so massive collapse of fibrosis we will dampen the tactile vocal filters so, uh, to continue the mini cx examination which already we have done and we saw how the subject went for the classical style to detect the tactile vocal filters and you discussed a lot of things about tactile vocal filters but interestingly there is a history behind this tactile vocal filters which is really astounding and is worth discussing here because in lot of places when the students are taught about tactile vocal filters they usually ask the patient to utter 99 usually lot of places we use this statement of 99 to carry out as a word we will be repeating 99 and you will go for tactile vocal filters but the history is very interesting because this 99 is actually a fallacy the principle if we go rewind go to the history and just before going to the history 
we again recollect the principle of tactile vocal fremitus. Actually, we ask the student to utter a word which should have low frequency. Our word which we are repeating should be a low frequency word because the principle says that low frequency vibrations are better conducted from the larger airway through the alveoli to the chest wall and if the medium from the alveoli to the chest wall between them is containing less air or is solid or for example a consolidated lung or a mass then the low frequency vibrations will rapidly transmitted or better transmitted through this medium to the chest wall to be perceived as an increased tactile vocal fremitus that we saw in the principle. So the baseline is we have to make the patient utter a low frequency word. Now before we embark on this, let us go to the history. When those were the days where there were no X-ray chests available, no ultrasounds or any CT scans were available, the astute and wise clinicians of Germany, actually the history comes from Germany and Austria, those areas, they used to make the patient utter a sound or a word which is known as it is written like this, Nun and Nunzig. But when it is going to be pronounced, the pronunciation is Nyon and Nyonzig. Nyon and Nyonzig. This was the pronouncement. This was the pronunciation of this word, which is written like this. So if you mark this OY, this OY part in Nyon and Nyonzig is actually classically a low frequency vibrating word. It is a low frequency. So, what happened later on? Because this word was a foreign word and the students who went to study there, they came out with their own interpretation. Why not? Why not? Why to utter this word? Let us, it can be simplified by saying just 99. It can be simplified by just uttering 99. Neon and neon zing 99. But the problem was, when we are hearing this, neon and neon zing and 99 appear to be of same phonetics. But that was the grave mistake. 99 is not at all phonetically similar to neon and neon zing. Because this is a, this actually creates high frequency word. So 99 is actually a high frequency word which do not serve the purpose of tactile vocal fremitus. So this was the great fallacy. So why this? So the, to understand this, we have to understand what is a diphthong or what are dip, diphthongs. So diphthongs are words which contain two or more than two vowels and these vowels should be different from each other in a word or these vowels may be distantly separated distantly separated in a word or in a phrase. Say for example, if I say beer, there are two vowels in close approximation to each other. This is not a diphthong. If I say blue balloon, we can see blue balloon vowels are distantly placed. Even if vowels are not in close approximation to each other, less than two, toy, boy, here the OY, OY, OY is creating low frequency vibration. 
so they are passed even if not classically diphthongs they pass because o is creating a low frequency sounds so even if it is not a diphthong but this o is creating a low frequency vibration so actually ideally we should ask the patient to utter these terms rather than 99 toy boy blue balloon boat to different vowels boat One, two, three. We can say one, two, three. Deep thumbs are jumping. So this can be a deep thumb when you elaborate the phrase. Like one, two, three. So vowels are jumping. There are distance between the vowels. So when we ask the patient in Hindi, when we ask in Indian scenario, we can say one, two, three. so this is the vowel pronunciation that jumping from one phrase to another so the larger phrase vowels are jumping even if not a classical diphthong but if they are jumping also it is creating a low frequency vibration sound so this is in brief how the history of tvf what happened actually how it was misinterpreted and uh, it became a myth and later on the correction for what exactly one should say while doing uh, the tvf and for indian student before we go let us end it with a joke Le never ask this oe oe can be a low frequency but don't ask the patient to say oe oe it's dangerous so we discard this we settle with toy boy blue balloon boat 1 2 3 एक दो तीन फॉर एग्जामिनिंग टेक्टाइल वोकल फ्रेंडर्स